the big data what big data is uh, i just uh, want to share with every day per day we are creating 2.5 billion or we can say 1 quintillion byte of data that data is actually exa byte that is then they will about 18 bytes of data on daily basis in, in today's world in general and out of that 90% of the data of the world today is created in last two years just imagine uh, before two years if you go, go back uh, before that uh, pandemic uh, covid covid era the re- available resource what we are having is only 10% what is available today and just imagine after two years the our existing uh, re- uh, data is only 10% so this way this rapid growth is there in data generation and data comes from various sources like documents email images graphs video your personal information data transaction and a number of sources are there and with different technologies are there to generate data so big data analytics is uh, you can say modern technique for collecting organizing m- maintaining and analyzing the large data set for what we are generating the data to discover new pattern and to uncover information with hidden inside the data by using different remote server or internet the real time application of big data is ranging in every part of life uh, ranging from medical resource research agriculture environmental science maintenance and management of financial services and any other fields and we are producing a data that we can say data explosion is data in today's world so coming to the layers there are three four layers are there in uh, big data the first layer is data source what is the data source layer it is where a data is arrived at your organization it includes everything from your sales record we can say customer database feedback social media channels are a good very good source of uh, this uh, data source layer now coming second part is data storage data is generated in first layer that is data source layer in second layer data storage layer we are trying to store that data the sophisticated but accessible system of tools have been developed like uh, you people those who are working in machine learning and or ai are familiar with the apache hadoop dfs that distributed file systems are there and google file system we are storing our thing that is also the data storage layer dfs for data storage third and very important layer is data processing or you can say data analysis layer it is to find out something useful we need to process and to analyze and common method for doing this data processing or analysis layer is uh, map reduce tools and the fourth, fourth and final layer that is visible to the user is how you are using the insight glance through the analysis of to the people when we can talk external on benefits of them how could can take the form of reports we can say charts figures videos and all the key recommendations comes under the data output layer the same thing if you see in my right side slide the reverse way we are saying we are starting from data generation data source layer to data storage layer and uh, very important part is processing and finally we are deriving the data output layer So what actually what big data actually five or six ways we are using in uh, big data analytics. So four ways are the, our generic big data requirement that are variety, volume, and velocity. What is variety? Because data sources are different type of data sources are available in today's world. Data may be a structured, may be an unstructured. Multi factor data are there, audio, video, a number of data sources are there. data may be probabilistic and link link to dynamic type of things are there volume when we are talking of volume volume is size what size of data because big data we are uh, discussing so definitely our data size is very huge like uh, you can say giga or you can say terabytes of records archives tables distributed files all comes under volume because volume is very large and variety is very very, very heterogeneous variety of data is there now comes the velocity i started my talk with the thing is how data is growing and generated on every day basis so pace is very fast velocity means pace of data so data pace comes under batch is there you can say real near time systems 
uh, streams and different uh, transaction and processes are there comes under this velocity so 3 v very important we variety volume and velocity comes under generic big data requirements and now coming to the acquired big data requirements after data comes to the system that are variability variability means the changing data changing models are there different linkages are there how to integrate all the data sets comes under this variability parts veracity veracity means how true worthiness of data is there how authentic the data is there accountability availability that all comes under veracity part now the value of data is the data you are having is correct the correctness or hypothesis simulation all the prediction of the events we are covering under veracity so the six v's are very important part of any big data analytics model. now coming to what the challenges we are facing today in real life big data analytics because large volume because volume is very large and how to uh, how to manage that the traditional database management system we are using today cannot cope with the big data so large volume is a big challenge in today's data processing part high throughput data are coming how to relate that data how to link that different data sets is also a very big challenge complexity of data is there data may be one dimensional two dimensional multi dimensional data is there so how to handle the complex data set and heterogeneity is there how the heterogeneous data can be linked and how to integrate that these five challenges are there in real life big data coming from ai any field either in medical field we can talk environmental or field our agricultural field so the job of big data analytics is to tackle this type of problems now discussing some other problems like uh, in real research data analysis what are the issues there is very uh, challenging issue is multiple comparison issue what multiple comparison issue is because when uh, if you are doing the collecting the research data then high number of false positive are there coming compared to true positive true positive is very less but we are having very uh, uh, false positive data set so the comparison issue multiple comparison issue is always creating problem in research data analysis high dimensional biological data when you are discussing that uh, agricultural medical or environmental science data it is very difficult to discriminate between two classes of data how to classify that data that in data mining we are facing the problem how to classify this type of high dimensional data a small and a large be problem because number of sample we are using in research is very very less compared to number of parameter to predict mostly in case of biological data biological data whenever i am talking it is include agricultural science data environmental science data medical science data spatial data computational limit because uh, if you can use any type of hardware limitation is always there for hardware so hardware limitation ram limitation multiple processor we are using but number of processor is also a big challenge so computational limit is a obstacle in research data analysis in today's world noisy high throughput data because number of uh, errors are there in our data source difficulty to, because uh, the in lab condition when we are generating data that data is the lab condition experimental parameter to control is a very challenging job so the, mostly we are getting noisy high throughput data so how to filter that that is a good uh, big challenge in research data analysis and integration of multiple heterogeneous biological data because various form of, uh, of data is available as structured and unstructured and different forms and cons are there redundant of with the redundant data sets so i have discussed the problem what type of uh, what big data is and what are the problems with big data and how to tackle that big data so we can say ki this how to tackle this type of problem so one number of techniques are there but today i am going to going to discuss very little on that cloud computing cloud computing is solution of any big data analytics problem is cloud computing can say what cloud computing is 
क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग इज ए मेथड फॉर स्टोरिंग एंड एक्सेसिंग डेटा एंड प्रोग्राम ओवर द इंटरनेट इंस्टीड ऑफ योर कंप्यूटर साइंस क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग इन्वायरमेंट इन प्लेस ऑफ यूजिंग योर कंप्यूटर रिसोर्स यू आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन इंटरनेट ए टाइप ऑफ कंप्यूटिंग दैट रिलाइज ऑन शेयरिंग ऑफ कंप्यूटर रिसोर्स क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग इज वॉट इट्स ए शेयरिंग ऑफ कंप्यूटिंग रिसोर्स Rather than having local server or your personal device, you are not going to use your own server or your own system. But despite of that, you are going to share the computing resource available on the internet world. The word cloud is used as a metaphor for the internet, and in simplest term, you can say what big data is. Big big data is uh, uh, sorry, cloud computing. Cloud computing is nothing. It's a internet-based computing. different services are the like servers storage applications are del- delivered to the organizations computers through the internet cloud computing is uh, comparable to grid computing those who are familiar with grid computing we can say cloud computing is advanced form of that grid computing and all computer in a network are harnessed to solve problem to incentive for any stand alone system Suppose if I am going to use a group of resource, that is definitely better compared to our external load machine. So how uh, in this slide we can I am going to show you how the cloud computing has evolved from the grid computing. Grid computing is what? What grid computing is? Grid computing is nothing. We are going to solve a large complex problem with parallel computing mode. Parallel computing mode. Whenever we are talking, means we are going to use multiple processor so grid computing is multiple processor based parallel computing model from there uh, the, the term computability computing means you are offering computing resource as a metered service utility computing is metered service like suppose i required electricity then i am not going to establish my own, own energy platform despite i am paying also uh, in the uh, to electric agencies like so utility computing is offering computing resource is a metered service like we are paying our electricity bill water bill telephone bill so based on our requirement we are using this utility computing part now comes the software as a service what is a software as a service that is network based subscription to application you are not going to buy the complete software But we are paying for the license, as you can see. So it's a network-based sub- uh, subscription model. We are saying SaaS software as a service is a network-based subscription model. Like uh, suppose uh, in your whole organization, you want to have one, one particular software, so you are just subscribing that, and through your uh, on your whole network, you can say the software will be accessible. That we are saying that is software as a service. Then cloud computing is derived from software as a service. Sometimes we are showing the software as a service is also a part of cloud computing. Means what? It's any time, anywhere, access to IT resources, and it is delivered dynamically as a service. Now see this uh, the, the cloud computing architecture. This is front end. Front end is your client infrastructure, and through in net you are. attached to the application layer management in services how run time how to store what is your infrastructure security dependency parts all the thing security management application comes under back end and front end your dependency your infrastructure what you are have so it's a providing a platform service through internet and it need minimum hardware and software installation at your, your end and network may be lan we can do it on wan also and application or infrastructure is deployed remotely and user can access the hardware or software as per their need so four type of uh, cloud uh, are available uh, that is private community hybrid and public what is a private network private network just like i am having my own cars and private my or my personal use similarly it used for a single organization suppose my organization there at iri i can use my own private cloud and uh, it's a single organizations can it can be used by internally and externally hosted i then i can host the cloud at my 
data center or I can deploy the cloud to some other data center. That is private network. And what is public network? Provides are open use for the public by a particular organization and who also hosts the service. And public like uh, public transport, we are saying metros or the DTC buses. This public network is that the data is stored in some cloud, but the number of users can use that. Similarly, one hybrid mode model, hybrid mode is mixture of private and public. This is composition of two or more clouds, either private community or public community, and uh, it can be used uh, for uh, benefit of multiple deployment model. Internally, it can be hosted, and either you can say it's externally hosted. And what is the community model? It is shared by several organizations as per their need, and uh, Typically, it is externally hosted, but may be internally hosted by one of the organization and through that organization, it can shared among the companies. So, four models are very popular in cloud. That is uh, DAS, SAS, DAS and IS. What is DAS? Suppose some uh, public databases, we are working in biological databases, so I can say Biological database that comes under DAS, data as a service. SAS, I've already discussed, software as a service, platform as a service. In platform as a service means you can use the analysis platform, pro programming environment, you are not going to purchase the software, but the software is a, as a platform is available on cloud, and through that cloud you can use that. And infrastructure as a service. Suppose the data center you are having in your own organization, in place of that, you can host all the things, all the infra to some other uh, cloud that is infrastructure as a service. I mean, you don't need anything, any server, nothing, but based on a single, using a single computer or laptop or desktop, you can use the complete infrastructure available on the cloud, hosted cloud. So four model dash, dash, pass, and ES is there in clouds. One application actually I want to show here one slide. Actually, we are using that uh, how the cloud part which were working. So we are having one uh, Asoka, we are saying Asoka is what? Advanced supercomputing hub for omics knowledge in agriculture. Actually, I'm representing an agriculture uh, university. So it's a supercomputer, you can say India's first supercomputing facilities in agriculture domain, hosted by us. So through that, actually four nodes are there, actually main center we are hosting at the Delhi, IRI, and NBFGR in Lucknow, NBPGR in one more in center in Delhi, and NABI in Bangalore, NBAM is there in Mau, and NBAGR in Karnal. So four centers we are having. And if you see this network, uh, we are using for storage uh, 250 TB of network attached match we are using, 250 TB of parallel, parallel file system PFMS, and 200 TB of, for archive structure we are having. So this is our uh, storage capacity, 20 TB of NAS and 50 TB of PFMS, and each of the five domains like Karnal, Mau, Bangalore, and Lucknow we are using. For networking, you are using port QDR based in infinite band uh, interconnected switches, and uh, we are having 10G, 100G, and even 1000G inter Ethernet switches. And through we are can all the three are connected to national knowledge network that can be given by NIC. Hardware wise, we can say that we are having cluster because supercomputing is what supercomputing is multi processor computing. Uh, computing. So we are having 256 nodes that are Linux based, uh, 16 nodes that is GPU based Linux clusters, window based 16 nodes, 16 nodes are in, uh, Linux based clusters, and one SMP for high memory intensive job, and for that we are using 64 core with 1.5 TB memory. So this is this one map I will just showing that what infrastructure we are having in our supercomputing facility. Asoka supercomputing and through this Asoka we are serving whole Indian Council of Agriculture Research System. We are having more than 100 institutions and 36 universities. So 
so through that all the data analysis and the part we are doing some software uh, open source software especially in biological data analysis domain we are hosting so next generation sequencing phylogeny analysis for sequence analysis motif identification snp analysis rna analysis protein expression analysis genome analysis some numbers are given here 2 2 3 this number of software we are using this number of software we are sharing across our network through ip authentication so now coming to characteristic of a cloud what a cloud cloud environment should have so it should be dynamic dynamic means one of the key of cloud computing is on demand provision what is your requirement based on that requirement we are serving massive scalability the services must react immediately to your need means the things should be scalable suppose i my requirement is small then i can use a small requirement analysis my requirement will grow then definitely i will grow so massive scalability is there multi tenant cloud computing by its nature it is delivering a shared based service and number of users can use this rapid elasticity suppose you require five servers okay you can uh, you can only give given a space for that suppose uh, after some time your requirement is high suppose need 50 then in place of five we can use 50 servers so hardware is not a challenge because you are not going to purchase that that is at one place and based on requirement you can use that self service as a user you can use the services as whatever you require as a user you can use that pre users based pricing model you should only if you pay for the amount of service you can give just like the electricity i am using i am paying only that the water i am using i am paying water bill accordingly so in cloud computing duty of cloud computing model is that you are paying based on your requirement you don't need a big data center or a small organization based on requirement you can hire the service from the cloud 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 host and accordingly we can pay so it's a pre user based pricing model sir there and ip based architecture ip based architecture cloud architecture are based on virtualized internet based technology so the based on ip authentication the services can come, come to your ip and accordingly we can use it. so these are some characteristic of a cloud environment now coming to the features actually 10 very important features of uh, cloud i am going to discuss here resource pooling that under on demand self service is very easy to maintain because maintenance is not dependent on the user large network access is there availability of resources is always there or this very automatic system and economical very cheaper cloud model if you go then that is very cheaper in the place of developing your own infrastructure security that is very secure that sometimes because people are saying ki what are the security and cloud that i am not going on that detail but i can say clouds are uh, cloud model are very secure matter pay as as per your requirement and it is measured service very scalable service is done there so in this slide the complete cloud model i am just attaching with the data big data in first part i was discussing how the big data and cloud computing can be attached you know input is processed and output is generated after processing the input the output will be generated so here is it is by the left side big data sources all the v's i have discussed that is variety velocity volume variability veracity i am adding some more term here visualization value virtual all the v's and data can be structured and structured semi structured so all the big data resources as input we are going to process processing is what analytics are going to use so data analytics some tools are here the hadoop we are using map reduce rdbms that traditional uh, database management system here in uh, big data analytics we are using no sql so these are the data analytics so i am not going to discuss the detail of hadoop and map reduce here on this forum and output in cloud computing mode is the what are the output model different services like i have already discussed private public hybrid network and services infrastructure as a service software as a service platform as a service and back end here and this is front end here so result analysis and all the visualization to cloud computing and 
कम रिसोर्सेज यार आप डिस्कस किए एक्चुअली इन माई डोमेन बाई प्रोडक्टिव डोमेन डेटा एज ए सर्विस सॉफ्टवेयर एज ए सर्विस वाट आर दिंग्स देर इन कंपेरिजन आई वॉन्ट टू सुन Here is uh, some challenges uh, issues are what issues are there in big data? So big data storage space will be needed uh, by companies to store their data without any limits. So there is no limit as per your requirement. You can use that. The computational time is needed to discover with the increase of the data for faster processing. The transfer of data is a challenge. Definitely a big challenge in big data analytics. Uh, to transfer the data from one location to other location. It is mainly done either by the use of external hard drive or hard drive or the mail service. Transfer of data become time consuming. So transfer of data may reduce the work efficiency. So big data has to be processed and computed. So we can get faster output. It can be shared and used from any location the user want to. Use. Security and privacy of the data. People are running in cloud data. What are the security of the data? What are the privacy of data? some concern as there so every case the most important issue of handling big data is security of the data whenever it is the storage database or while transferring the data from external hard disk to or to email so as to security issues are sometimes worrying but nowadays uh, some even the government organization are asking ki why should we host the thing on cloud in despite we can manage our own data so, uh, centers So NIC has also started that uh, government uh, data centers or cloud, government cloud. And once I am not this slide, I am not mentioned. We are also planning in agriculture domain. One time we have a Krishi Meg. Cloud means Meg. Krishi Meg. We are trying to put our own cloud. We want to create to host that all the things in our research institution and our universities working in agriculture veterinary. history and other domains so just to conclude here cloud computing is the next big thing in big data analytics with its application sharing and uh, very cost effective property it is useful for all and should be made accessible the scalability of cloud to reduce traffic and cloud cryptography is always to ensure security now with the days people are also talking of cryptography in cloud computing model to harness the cloud is the beneficial and best possible way one need to complete rely on use of it uninterrupted way cloud computing can be a real means of hope for the researcher and database organizers the approach just can condense the resources data and all tools in the cloud and user can access the data in the virtual mode and can work in cloud itself with and data without downloading and maintaining a local copy in personal system you can use the cloud model and don't need to buy expensive resources to carry out our daily research so definitely cloud computing is a very beneficial thing especially in research domain so thanks